What is up everybody? Welcome back to the Gamers Walkthrough. Thank you guys for tuning in. If this video does help you guys out, be sure to drop that like and hit that sub button. As you guys can see, this is the location that you're going to need to go. So uh, it's south from Death Mountain and this place is called the Foothill Stable. I'm going to show you what potions to get and then the quickest route to actually get to the Goron City. Without fighting the whole entire time. I mean, because you only got so much time to get there. What's up, lady? Mm. Yeah, I'm wearing a girl outfit. What about it? Uh. uh. Yeah, so make sure you guys buy all three of these potions from this chick. Mm. Just in case. I mean, they're not that expensive. You are going to need to ride around 3,500 to 4,000 gems whenever you actually get into Goron City. And I'll show you the outfit that we are going to buy. So we won't have to worry about burning up. Uh, that means that this is the only three fireproof elixirs you will ever buy. So pretty much when you're done, you can actually probably just sell them. Alright, so we're teleporting to Elven Tower. The closest one to the Goron City. All right, guys, so now we're going to want to head north. And you can follow this road right here. You can just follow it if you want to. But you're going to be running into, I think, a few more problems. I'm going to show you guys a route where you're not going to be running into stuff constantly. And as soon as we get in, guys, into Goron City, I'm going to show you what outfit to buy. Because if you do not get it or don't have the money to buy it, you will have to be packing these potions like crazy. Mmm, it tastes good. Alright, so what I'm doing, guys, I'm just going over the road. I'm going to follow it, but I'm not going to be directly on the road. Yeah, guys, there is tons of, like, diamonds, amber. There's so much stuff on top of this massive-ass volcano. So if you guys get the time, go ahead and run through and do everything. But I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to show you guys where Goron City is. I'm going to try to avoid all fights. I was about to shoot that dude with the bow. Luckily, I didn't have one on me. I just broke it, like, right before I started this video. Still just avoiding the road as much as possible, but it won't be longer, we're gonna have to jump on it. But as soon as we get close enough to the Gorons, there's really no threats. So I'm thinking that the threats are pretty much over with, so we're gonna get on the trail and start following it. So if you guys don't know much about Gorons, they actually eat rocks. So I mean, I don't think they're mining for resources, they just want rocks. So we're just going to stay on this trail, and I'm going to go ahead and just like fast forward through this, guys. I don't think there's anything that, you know, other than following the trail right now. And as soon as we get into Goron City, I'm going to show you guys what to do. Alright guys, so we are actually about to enter into Goron City. Yo, what up, Goron? Mmm, what's this girl doing here, he says. Mmm, as soon as you come in, look right. You guys see that shirt? That right there is where you need to go to go purchase this outfit. I'll show you guys how much they cost. Yeah. See, that's not too bad. Not for the first piece. Ah. And if it's anything like the winter set, you only need the pants and the shirt. You really don't have to have the helmet, I don't think. But we're not going to chance it. 
All right, we got it. Let's go ahead and put this bad boy on. Boom, boom, boom. All right, guys, we no longer need potions. That is it. It looks pretty good. It's like a little furnace. If this video does help you guys out, be sure to drop that like and hit that sub button. And I guess I'll see you guys on the next video. Later.